Hey everybody, welcome to Stoner's Stash Box. This is Harry, and I am Stoner. Thank you again for doing my videos. Uh, this is Sunday the 13th of September. Um, I went to uh, Lewisburg Flea Market at the Super Spoon off of uh, Route 15 in Lewisburg. Well, I already said Lewisburg, but you know. So, and I got about 30, 30 albums. Uh, some of them, most of them, the jackets aren't in the best condition. Uh, a lot of the vinyls in VG, VG Plus. There's a few of them that are a little, a little funky, but uh, nothing that my, uh, um, my cleaner can't take care of. Okay? We'll get right into it, because there's like 30 of them, and I don't want to, you know, waste your time be talking about what I got so first one up point blank interesting album jacket uh, NCA see that very good yeah not much very it's pretty good very good condition I'm happy with it uh, the next one this has got a, I think this is a promo. Um, I'll show you why. Uh, Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis. Sunday, Down South. It's on uh, Sun Records. And I'll show you why. Because I, I looked around for this. See, it's all yellow. Sun label. See that or not? And all the other ones I saw, except for the promo one, had the rays. You know, the rays are the coming up from the bottom of the label. And the only one I saw that would, that didn't have the rays was a promo. Now, there's nothing on here to indicate that it is a promotional copy. Uh, so, I just gather it is. I'm probably wrong, but, you know. The uh, problem with this jacket, other than the wear on it, is they've got... Tape, you know, packing tape on it, but that's for my own personal collection. And the vinyl does look good, looks really good. So that's a plus. Uh, next up, for uh, getting all ready for Christmas, Manhattan Steamroller Christmas. It's great, I love these guys. I've got a couple of CDs and. Uh, the music on it. They're beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, this is like brand new, you know. Brand spanking new. Still got the hype sticker on it, you know. Now, now available in sheet music. Cool. I think my wife would be happy about that. She loves Christmas music. Uh, I picked this up on a whim. Uh, Garrison, uh, Killier, I, I guess that's his name, I'm not quite sure. Um, uh, they're a family radio, double album. A lot of you people probably know who, know about him. I've, I know of him, I've heard of his, um, uh, some of his radio shows. Um, it was just a whim, you know. Uh, these next two do not have jackets, but the vinyl is outstanding. This is Jenny Winter. Double I. Looks like no jacket on it, but I have, I already have one over there. Uh, that's a repressing. This is original. Um, it may go in there. I don't, I don't quite know yet. I haven't decided, but yeah, I I couldn't let it go. It's Johnny Winter. Uh, this ne next one I couldn't let go either. Um, I used to have this on vinyl. I've got it on cassette, I believe. But I, you know, Mike Oldfield, two little bells. Nice virgin. I love that virgin. That 
Roger Dean, Virgin Label. Isn't that great? So great. But yeah, there's this, this is almost flawless. I don't know why there's no jacket there. But I could say I'll just keep it and play it and enjoy it. I, I love it. I, I remember back in the when it came out, I just loved it. You know, slap on the headphones. Uh, Johnny Cash's Greatest Hits, Volume 1. I already have one copy of this. Uh, this is a reissue. Reissue, uh, reissue vinyl in an original jacket. But it's in better shape than the one that I have. The other one I have has a lot worse a ring wear than that, so. Uh... Arlo Guthrie, Hobo's Lullaby. And the original hippie guys. Picture in the back. Reprise. It's a later edition. It's from 1970, I believe. I think so. Yeah. I think. Might be wrong. If I'm wrong. Let me know downstairs. Uh, this is kind of beat up, but couldn't pass this up. Because I love 60s Aretha Franklin. What a beautiful face. This is a live album, if I'm not mistaken. In person with her, her quartet. And this is the double I. I love Aretha Franklin from the 60s and early 70s. She was an amazing, amazing singer. Amazing singer. Queen of Soul. And uh, for all you Venture fans out there, Wild Things. Aren't they beautiful? You know, hippie females from the 60s. Very cool. This is on uh, Dalton label. The vinyl is very good shape. Wild thing on here, uh, Sweet Pea, Wild and Wooly, Wild Child, Summer in the City, Pied Piper, Hanky Panky, Wildcat, work song. Very cool. I love it. I love the jacket. I love how that looks. Just takes it right back. Uh, Robbie Shanker, and I don't even want to try to try to pronounce this guy's name. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I just good enough English. Uh, but this is East West Mist East West Mist Mist. It's easy for me to say. West meets East. Two. Robbie Shanker. This is from 71, 72, 70, right around that era. I thought I had this, but I do not have this. I used to have this, and I love this album. Uh, in my humble, meager opinion, this is these guys' very best album. It ain't easy, Three Dog Night. Incredible. Incredible album. Right, this area. Incredible album. On Dunhill ABC or ABC Dunhill. Great shape. It's a little scuff here and there, but don't look that bad. Yeah, always love this album. I mean, the, the, the songs on here. Mama told me not to come. It ain't easy. Woman. Cowboy. Your song. That's the album. You know, Rock and Roll Widow. Out in the Country. Good Time Living. Good Feeling. 1957. This is a classic album. An absolute classic album. I'd say it is their best. In my opinion. Their very best album. Oh. I almost fell over when I saw this. Bobby Blue Bland. Yes, sir. Bob. 
It's called Blues You Can Use. Yes, sir. Bobby Blue, Blue Bland. I love the guy. And it is on Malico Records. Yeah, I about dropped the load when I saw that, man. That's it. That was the only real blues album I actually found in there. Was, and it's, he's, he rarely has any blues albums, so when they do show up, and I happen to see him, I'm gonna I snatch them up. An old Willie Nelson album. My own. What does it say? Peculiar way, Willie Nelson, from 1969. This is just before he started growing his hair long. RCA. Yeah, if I don't think he's in good shape. Witness my spooky tooth. It's from the mid 70s, I believe. On Island Records. Cool cover. I like the cover. Uh, I love these guys. It's not music. Yeah, let's see if I can get that so I can see it better. I love David C. Fields. <laughs> he just breaks me up, man. I mean, I've seen these movies over and over, and he still he still tears me up. Um, I had to get this because I saw this on um, a couple people's uh, channels. Peter Gunn, Henry Mancini. It didn't happen to be there, so I picked it up. Black RCA lab label. Not too bad a shape. It's playable. Barely any scuffs or anything on it. But yeah, Peter Gunn. And I remember the show. And the theme song. Uh, I had to. I'm an old country and western fan. Uh, I used to watch this guy on Hee Haw. I can't get that off. Mountain Dew. Grandpa Jones. He's a damn good banjo picker. He really is. And it is on Nashville Records. The vinyl looks really good. It's 1969. That's when he was still on uh, Hee Haw. Grandpa Jones. Cool dude. Uh, I only have this on CD. I used to have it on vinyl. I lost it. Literally lost it. Mountain goat climbing. Gotta fix that. Eh, just the jacket separated. The glue came off. There's nothing I can't fix. Vinyl looks okay. Windfall Records, Dinner Sleeve, Leslie, man can have dude play guitar. You can take a two and a half minute song and make it nine minutes, you know, Mississippi Queen. He's a great guitarist, great guitarist. And he's still going strong too, man, even though he's doing it from the wheelchair because of diabetes, he's still going strong. Uh, I'll take this out, I guess. Then we can see it. Uh, it's a little tape at the top. Warren Zevon. Warren Zevon. So you got a little tape at the top, which kind of indicates that it's, the jacket's not too good. But, the vinyl looks pretty good to me. I like Warren Zevon. This has got some good stuff on it, too. It's got uh, Hasten Down the Wind. Poor, poor, pitiful me. 
uh, French and Healer, <laughs> Muhammad's Radio, I'll Sleep When I'm Dead, uh, let's see, another one in here, Mama Can't Be Persuaded, one is Eva, underrated songwriter, singer, very underrated. Uh, this sing better days. It's all might be a little bit of water damage on it. I think. Uh, yeah. But super tramp, crime of the century. This is my first super tramp album. Seriously. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's my first one. Um, I like to say I'm a country and western fan. I'm also a Linda Rod is Ronstadt fan. But you can't go wrong with Dolly Parton, Linda Rodstadt, and Emily Lou Harris trio. Yeah, there's some little damage down there, but that's okay. The vinyl looks alright. The beautiful voices, all three of them. All three of them. Yeah, I'm a big, big Linda Rodstadt fan. I got a lot of her albums. A lot of her albums. Uh, Stephen Stills Live. Electric. And on the flip side, acoustic. I did not know this exi existed. Uh, Capital. Yeah, I don't know this was out. So shows you how much I know. Uh, let's see, next one. What is this one? Johnny Rivers, Realization. See, people are starting to get into Johnny Rivers. I saw a few of my fellow VCs showing some Johnny Rivers, the old stuff. The old stuff in the mid-60s, where he was at the, the Whiskey A Go-Go. I've got several of those. Those are great albums. And they sound incredible. Uh, the engineer did a magnificent job on those. But yeah. He's a little long here days. Good singer. Great singer, man. Uh, this is a little beat up. I don't know what the vinyl is, man. I don't think it is. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's not bad. Greatest Hits of Bob Dylan, Volume 1. I do not have this. I do now. And this is a, yeah, reissue. A repressing. Uh, a little Prague. This is really beat up. There's like some damage to it. Uh, this is my first time by these guys. Triumphant Rat. Clem Brett, or however you pronounce it. And it's, what's it called? Oh, Loves Die Hard. A cute little guy. Yeah, mine looks good. If I get it out. There we go. Mine looks really good. Like I say, there's a little damage on the front. But, yeah, I've heard of the guys, and I know they're a prog band, so why not? Another prog band. This is my first song by these guys, too. It is called In and Out of Focus. And let's see what the vinyl looks like. Yeah, on Shire Records. Looking good. <clears throat> Second, a little coffee. Ah, it's the thing about mustaches. Flavor savers. Guys with nut mustaches know what I'm talking about. Uh, this isn't exactly. A Paul Revere and the Raiders album, but it's close enough. Mark Lindsay, Arizona. I've got the single. 
Double I Columbia. Really good shape. Handsome young man, isn't he? Uh, I don't know how this sounds, so I'm going to find out. I like the band she's in. Uh, Cuckoo. Debbie Harry. Beautiful, beautiful face. The, art, the uh, artwork is done by H.R. Gigger. Same guy who did uh, the Aliens and Alien and throughout the franchise. He designed them. Beautiful inner sleeve. And the vinyl looks pretty darn good, man. Pretty darn good. Like Debbie Harry. Beautiful lady. Great voice. Even today she's still she's still out there rocking. So and last but not certainly least, this is an upgrade for me. Because mine's really <laughs> crappy looking. I mean it's all split and Toulouse Street, the Doobie Brothers. This is it's got kind of a nice little textured jacket. There's the boys. Palm tree, Water Brothers label. That's it. That's all I got. This may be the last. I don't know if it is the last, which is fine. I've got, like I said before, I've got plenty of albums. I've got ideas in my head um, to do things. You know, like my favorite albums. Uh, what ones have uh, changed my life? Blah, 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 blah. You know, all that stuff. So, And it might have some kind of theme stuff where I'll just sit here and just look at you for a while. You know, just... But you don't want that, so. Or I could just stick a camera in front of Harry and have a Harry cam. <laughs> that sound, a Harry cam. That sounds cool. Uh, well, I want to thank everybody who's subscribed to my channel. Um, if you like what you see, click the like button. You know, the thumbs up one. Make a comment. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. That's fine. And to get notified, there's there's a little bell, some places over here, things down that way. Click that bell for all, and so when I throw up one of these videos, you'll get a notification that this old stoner hippie has got another video up, and that's Harry. I'm stoner. That's my decapitated head, right back there. We'll see you later, man.